Okay, Ian's having problems getting his truck started in the morning, so we're just going to have a little look at what the problem is. So it's a diesel and it's cold, it's got cold, so we think it's glow plugs. We're pretty sure it's glow plugs, so we're just going to, we've sneaked it in the workshop and we're just going to have a little look at it quickly. So let's go and have a little look. So basically on a diesel, most of you guys will know this, but I'll just do it just for any of youngsters out there that are trying to get their truck started. So on the engine you've got, and it's a bit hard to see, do you want to just lift that light up a bit and it's a bit sort of... So what you've got is you've got, the, you've got these, um, you've got the injectors, let me see if we can get this. You've got the injectors with the fuel pipe coming in. And then you've got this, this wire coming down here onto this bar. And it's just a metal bar that runs along, along here. And then every once in a while you'll see it's got a connection going down onto what looks like a little mini spark plug down in there and they're the glow plugs so first thing you need to do is check that when you turn it on you're getting voltage so we've got the voltmeter here we go all set up all press there we go go on to so you need it on dc voltage which is on this one has got this sort of flat line not the wavy line um, and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the multimeter the red the black one's on the battery and I'm going to put that one on give it a little scratch right and then that's right Ian's going to click it on hold on Ian right go on then oh hold on I ain't got a good contact let me just get it a, a better scratch right try again Ian there you go 12 volts so it's getting 12 volts um what the glow plugs do is they're they're just a bit of resistance wire and they glow red hot so what we're going to do now is we're going to take that take the the connections off there and test each one by going from the battery earth to the top of the connector and see what the resistance of each of those is okay so we've removed this sort of bus bar that that, that is on top of all the and it's bolted it's bolted to the top of all the uh, glow plugs and i've actually got a glow plug here to show you so that's obviously bolted on like that there's a nut on the top of there and that's all obviously the glow plugs go in like so, so, right, there we go, let's crack on. So what should the resistance be? So what we're actually trying to do, I'll show you on here because it might be easier. Um, we're trying to measure the resistance between the sort of the body and you see this little black washer here, anything above that black washer, so that's an insulator there. And if we look at that, that is at like nine mega ohms, that's not good. Pay particular, so we've got it on ohms here, which is what this symbol is here, and it's the M for, mega so when they're apart always test your multimeter when you're it'll be like overload mega ohms when you put them together it will be a very low resistance so that's just the resistance of this wire right and what we're looking for is something in the order of a few ohms right but that's eight mega ohms that's like nothing's going to happen with that right so how you measure that in situ you don't need to take them out Let's pick one you can see. Can you see that one down there, Ian? So actually, I don't need to go on the body. I can go anywhere on the engine. So I'll put the earth, I'll give it a scratch on the engine. And I'll put the other lead on the top there. And then what reading has that given us, Ian? Let's give us... Oh, hold on. A lot of ohms. A lot of ohms. But so hold on, ohms? maybe I haven't got a good contact. Yeah, you take the meter there. Try it on the. You can put the the earth point straight to earth on the battery. I'll put. I'll put. Let me try it there. How's that? One. One. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a so nice one point three. When we get it right. When we get it right. One. There you go. One point nine. So that's what you're looking for. Something one two three point five. Something low and something without the M. So we found we've got a faulty glow plug. Right. One other little thing. Glow plugs. If you wanna. Um, you can test them old school way without all this technology. Um, so if I, which wish we go? Should we go? Should you stick the live on there. Stick the live on here. And then hold that on the, the base of it. Hold. There's a very small threaded part and then you can just hold the base yeah, against yeah, yeah. it. So it doesn't matter which way around you do it. So I'm putting the thing there and then I'm going to go away from where I'm going. Alright. Okay, now wait a minute. Right, you see how that's glowing red? That's what a glow plug does. Right, and careful with that after you've done that. Put it on the floor. So um, you can test your old one. So here's an old one. So again, just put the tip there, that anywhere, and I'll be here all day, and nothing's going to happen. That is not getting hot. That is not doing anything. 
So when they fail, you're not getting, and it's that heat that makes the diesel um, ignite easier. So we're gonna do that, and then to, you can see, to whip the, the glow plugs out, it's dead easy, you just put, we've just got an extended socket, whip that out, put the new one in, connect it back up, put the rail on, and put the nut on. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna see if Ian's truck starts. Okay, so Ian's going to do it. He's going to turn the ignition on first. We hear the relay click. We might hear it click out again. The light's, no, the light's gone off. All right, let's check it's in neutral. That's going to be a good video running me over. Oh, look at that. There we go. So good luck with that. Glow plugs cause you all sorts of problems, but they're not actually that difficult to fix. The only problem is you might struggle getting them out the block. But Ian's could have been in there for years, we don't know, and they all came out pretty easy. So, good luck with your glow plugs.